Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to video two, the tutorial for the LSP Apple Crate digital background Photoshop file for newborn photographers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add baby in seamlessly and blend this digital to create a unique one of a kind image for your clients. If you haven't already, please do watch video one. It's a short five minute overview of exactly what's included um, and what is within this digital and how to open and use these groups here. In this video, I'm going to be concentrating on adapting this digital, turning the different options on and off to suit your image and how you can add baby in. So let's get started. First of all, come up here to the Your Baby Here group. Again, if you're not sure what this is, please do watch video one. I'm going to click the drop down to open the group and come down here to the smart object, which is called Your Baby Here. You will notice this is a kind of a crisscrossy transparent image here with a little folder icon next to it. This is a smart object, meaning it's a link to a separate image. So when you double click this, it will open up as a brand new image in Photoshop. So you can add baby onto that image without um, having to kind of copy and paste directly onto this digital here. Next to these, you will notice layer masks. These are black boxes. A little bit like scratch cards, white means show, black means hide. So I'm going to show you how you can use these to adapt and paint on shadows, highlights, colour changing and things like that. So make sure you're not on the layer mask like this. Make sure you are on the smart object thumbnail like this. You'll see this little kind of white out um, outline come up around it. Double click, click twice to open this and you will notice it's opened a, a separate image here, a brand new image instead of the um, Apple Crate Digital. You'll see two layers here, just two. You have your baby here, and above this in red, you have the guide layer. Click the little eye icon to turn this on, and you'll know exactly where to place and position baby, but make sure you turn this back off again before you save. The light in this image is coming from the left, so if you shoot with the light to, uh, to your right, make sure you flip baby when you add them in. So I'm going to go ahead and choose File, Place Embedded. Make sure you're placing in an edited image. Edit baby first. Um, don't go ahead and just place a straight out of the camera shot in here. Go ahead and do your normal skin editing, uh, removing any temporary flakes and blemishes. Make sure baby's shot on a darker background um, and add some nice contrast in too. You don't want to kind of um, be placing a light and airy image into this digital because it won't quite go. So locate the image of baby on your computer. I'm going to use one of these shots by Anna Brandt. I'm going to use this one here. Baby was shot from above in the bed prop, you can see. And hit place. You will see this, uh, this bounding box appear around the image. If you don't see that, come up to edit and hit free transform to bring that option up. Now this baby uh, is sideways, so I'm just going to rotate them around a little bit here and you can pull um, and change to resize baby here. If, you're, if your light is coming from the right, you need to right click, flip horizontal, and that will change the orientation of baby. I'm just gonna undo that. So again, I'm just going to position baby here using the guide until I'm happy. And now you need to come up here and turn the guide off because if you save this back to your Apple Crate, it's going to have the text on it. So turn it off like that. Then you need to come up here and when you're happy and hit file, save, not save as or anything like that, just plain old save or you can hit control or command S um, for your keyboard shortcut to save. And what this is doing is saving it back to the Apple Crate digital background but it will keep it as a separate image if at any point you want to double click, add skin editing, um, contrast, remove distractions or anything like that. It keeps everything the full resolution and it means you can edit things separately um, without making changes to the original on any one side. So once it's saved, you can go ahead and close this. And you'll notice baby has appeared here within the digital. The cover is already on burlap. You can turn this on or off. I'm just going to turn it off for a minute um, so I can cut baby out properly. To do this, you need to, um, at the moment, you're on still on the baby layer. You need to come here to the right and click the layer mask. This is going to allow you to edit baby further. 
come up here to your tool menu and select brush tool. My settings for the brush are normal, 100% opacity, and you can change the flow. For masking, I'd recommend about 50%, but you can, um, you'll probably find as you go, you take this up and down depending. Down here, you have the brush color. Right now it's on black. You can use these little arrows to switch from white to black. Or you can also use the X on your keyboard to switch. I find this much easier to edit with my hand on X because you're going to want to be switching from black to white to black to white as you paint on and off. So I'm going to zoom in on baby here just a little bit so we can start masking. Make sure you're on the layer mask, on the brush and let's switch to black. I'm going to start brushing this over and you will notice it is turning um, areas of the baby image invisible. I'm going to speed this bit up just quickly um, as I make the selection of baby you will notice I am zooming in and out switching from white to black. If at any point you're unsure of uh, masking you can go on YouTube there are so many tutorials that tell you um, exactly how to kind of cut your subject out. But for this one if you've shot your subject on a very similar background to one of the ones um, included in this digital you're going to find um, your cutout doesn't need to be so precise because you can have some of your original background showing in. So once you have baby roughly cut out of the digital, let's turn that one on and off, you can then go ahead and choose your base. So open up the bases group and choose the base that best suits the image you originally shot on. Burlap, cheesecloth, knit or fur. I think for this one I'm going to choose cheesecloth. And if your baby is on a similar background already, you can grab the white brush, make it a little bigger, and you can use this to paint in some of the original, which means you will get to keep your original shadows. If baby is not on a um, anything similar like this tool, for example, maybe you shot on completely flat, smooth fabric. You can use these extra layers here to merge baby and to blend baby. So you have shadow under baby. You can use this to start painting some of the original shadows um, as they would appear. If in doubt, look at your original image to see where the shadows fall. And have a think about on the digital where they would fall. You can also add um, shadows over baby by clicking on this one here, shadow over the baby to darken baby down a bit and blend them further to the digital. So you can click around, grabbing your brush, black or white, um, black to hide, white to show, and just add these shadows in. Don't make the shadows go over the edge of the crate here, just take them up to the, um, the inside line if needed. You also have colour change. Now you can use this if a baby was on, you know, wearing, I don't know, pink or something that doesn't quite go. So you can paint this onto baby, baby's outfit using a white brush and you'll notice the colour starts to change. So paint that on first, don't worry about what the colour is right now. Double click the little icon next to colour change to bring up your hue and saturation options and you can drag this rainbow box to change to whichever colour you like. And you can mask further, you can just keep masking black and white brush to paint on or off. You can change the saturation down to grey or up to very bright. Just like that. I'm going to turn that one off and keep baby in these neutral colours for this edit. The same goes for the bases, you can change the colour by turning on the colour change option, double clicking the hue icon and sliding to suit your image. But I'm going to turn the fur base off because I don't need it for this one. The next step is decide whether you would like, um, let me just go ahead and close this baby layer, whether you would like um, a cover showing over the baby. So you can turn the cover on like this, baby's all nestled in or off. If you turn the cover on, 
you can add more shadow over the baby if you want to just by using the shadow over baby now I say you need to edit baby first before they've added in but if you need to edit baby further you can simply double click this smart object here and this will open up the your baby here layer just like it did in the beginning and you can add any skin editing or anything like that here if you need to so I'm going to speed this up for a super quick skin edit using the LSP actions this is going to be sped up but you can find out more information about these actions on the website at www.lsp-actions.com but I'd recommend editing before you add baby in because it will save you the time um, doing it when baby's in there and a touch of the subtle contrast to accentuate these shadows and when you're done any any editing like this you can just go ahead and hit save and again it will save it back to your image and you can add your own editing in too at this stage you could add an adjustment layer for example um, I'm just going to warm baby up a little by adding a photo filter there just to suit the warmth of this background a little more And until you flatten and save, you can carry on playing, you can take the covers on or off. You can change the apple colour. And decide on which finishing overlay you'd like to use to suit your final image. And that is how to use the LSP Apple Crate digital background uh, for Photoshop, for newborn photographers. I can't wait to see what you do with this one. At any point you can do this your own way too, you can just add baby in and edit as you normally would with the digital, but the options are all there with the um, with all the layers that are included. You can grab this at www.lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.